What's up, Sunny fam? My name is Dominique, and welcome to your 20-minute beginner dumbbell workout. Today is a full body workout focusing on the foundations of strength. So we are going to be going into upper body, lower body, and then some core as well. We have two movements that we are super setting, but also taking that rest in between. We're also focusing, since we're focusing on foundation for these this series and these workouts, we want to control that stability. We're going to focus on balance, and we're going to use those light weights so we can really learn the movements, use our breath, and have a good time. Team, we're working in 40 seconds, 20 seconds to recover, three rounds through each of these movements, full minute recovery after, I've got you, are you ready? Let's get to it. All right, team, so go ahead and shake those bodies out. We're gonna go ahead and go right into our squat, so bring those feet slightly wider than those hips. Drop those glutes down, pressing the floor away. Beautiful, chest stays nice and proud. Give me two more, you can move slow, you can move a little quicker, totally up to you. Give me one more. We're gonna hold it nice and low. Give me just a couple pulses here. Beautiful job. We're gonna come right back up, right back to it. Big inhale, big exhale. That's it. Remember, we are pressing our heels into the floor, driving the floor away. Last two, last one. Come back down, hold and pulse. We're gonna go right into a staggered squat. We have that movement in the workout, so come on up. Right foot comes back right behind that left heel as a clutch. Both knees stay forward. Beautiful. That's it. Chest still stays proud. Knee is facing towards that other knee forward. Hold it low. Give me a couple pulses. Nice. Let's go four, three, two, and shake it out. Switching sides. That left foot comes right behind that right heel to the side. Both knees stay forward. That's it. Nice, beautiful staggered squats. We have two more right here. Big inhale, big exhale. Last one. We're going to hold it. Pulse it out. All right, team, beautiful job. And shake those legs out. We're gonna take it right into an inchworm. So walking the length of our mat all the way down into that high plank position. Roll the shoulders back. If you need to bring the knees down, take them down. Shoulders stay right over those wrists. Big inhale, big exhale. Just hold for a couple seconds here. Nice work. We're gonna go right into a down dog. So drive those hips up. Start to press those heels down. Maybe even pedal through the calves. Inhale, exhale, take it back to that high plank. Beautiful. If you need to tap the knees down, take it for a second. When you're ready, drive those hips back up. Big inhale. Maybe you pedal through those calves. Feel that nice stretch through those arms. Take it back to that high plank. Beautiful. One more time. Big inhale. Press it up. Big exhale. Pedal through those calves. Team, walk or step or hop those feet towards those hands. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time and shake it out. We're going to grab those dumbbells. We are going into upper body. Take a sip of water if you need it. Here is the first and second movement. We're gonna go right into our hammer curls and our overhead presses. Elbows stay close to that beautiful body. Hands are in that neutral grip, reaching up towards those shoulders. Inhale, exhale, drive it overhead. All right, our second movement, we're gonna keep those arms up, going for those tricep extensions. Team, are you ready? Here we go, 40 seconds on in three, two, and one. Big inhale, big exhale. I want you to start to focus on that breath work. Beautiful job. Fingertips stay facing towards each other. Shoulders stay down even though we are raising our arms up. Beautiful. Use that breath. Keep those elbows close to that beautiful body. We're already halfway through. If you see yourself needing to break it down one arm at a time, please feel free to do that. There you go. Can you try both? Exhale, use that breath. We have five seconds left here. Big inhale. Big exhale, big inhale, and take your recovery, shake it out. 20 seconds to rest here. We go back into our second movement, or into our second movement for the first time. Tricep overhead presses. So right here, elbows stay close. Inhale, exhale, driving just those hands up towards the ceiling. Team, we start in three, two, and one. Let's get it. You can bring the dumbbells together. You can also drop one dumbbell. Big inhale, big exhale, pressing those hands up. That's it. Can you keep the shoulders down? Slightly start to feel that navel, that belly button pull back towards your back. That's it. So core stays nice and tight, working on stability here. Ooh, almost there, halfway through this set. Nice work, you got it. We have four, about four or five more reps, so as much as you can get in. Can you give me about four more reps? I think you can. Big inhale, big exhale. Ooh, nice work. We have about three seconds left here. Can you finish it off one more? Two, and rest. All right, team, we have that 
20 second recovery, we go back to the top. All right, so taking it back into those hammer curls, those overhead presses in 10. Let's set it back up. Roll the shoulders back, here you go. Neutral grip, three, two, and one. Elbows in, big exhale, drive those hands up. Nice. Take your time here. Big exhale, I want you to really execute that movement. So really feeling that hammer curl, that bicep curl in. That's it, as you press overhead. Nice work. No need to rush here. Focusing on starting to use that breath. There it is, slow and controlled. Beautiful job. We're a little bit more than halfway through this whole set here. So stay with me. Big inhale, keep those shoulders down as you press overhead. Fingertips stay towards each other, nice. All right, team, we're already we're gonna cover in three, two, and rest, shake it out. Woo, and I need to shake out the neck, shake out the shoulders, give me a little shimmy. We're going back to those overhead presses, tricep extensions. All right, so you can drop a dumbbell or use both. We're gonna bring those dumbbells right behind that beautiful head of yours. Elbows stay nice and high. All right, team, here we go in three, two, and one. Same thing, 40 seconds here. Let's see how many reps we can get in. Maybe you can count them in your mind just to distract yourself today. You showed up, you woke up, you pressed play. You're already in this movement. How can we distract that mind by focusing on our breath? and that muscle group that we're being intentional on. So you should be feeling it right in those triceps. That's it, good job. Elbows stay up, don't let them flare out, you got it. We have about 10 seconds left here. Hands go down, hands come up. That's it, it's tempting, especially when we start to fight fatigue to bring those elbows out, keep them in. You have three seconds left, give me one more rep. Two, and recover, shake it out. Give me a little shimmy, nice work team. We're gonna take it back into those hammer curls those overhead presses. You got it. If you drop the dumbbell, pick it back up, shake those arms out. Here we go, team, in five. Roll the shoulders back, remember that breath. Here we go, in three, two, and one. Hammer curl, hold it. Exhale, overhead press, that's it. Try to keep that tension in those biceps. So now that you know this movement, you know exactly how to execute it, start to really be intentional with it. Make sure the dumbbells don't just drop here and press it up there. Be intentional, keep all that tension in those biceps. That's it, exhale as you press up. Really don't be afraid to use that breath. Big inhale, big exhale, that's it. Nice work. All right, this is our last set here of these ones, all right? We take our super set, our tricep extensions, and we already get a long recovery after that. You have three seconds left, give me about two more reps. Woo, finish it off strong and recover. Nice work, team. You can keep both of those dumbbells or drop to one. We bring those hands behind that head. Elbows stay nice and high, shoulders nice and low. We're gonna start in five. Shake it out. If you're already ready to start, you can start. For the rest of us, we go in three, two, and one. Big inhale, big exhale. Nice. If you already want a little bit more in those triceps, maybe you get a little back pulse and then a press. That's it. Try it, switch it up. Nice. It also switches the, the mind up a little bit too, so it's not as slow or challenging or as brutal when you can kind of switch it up. Even though it does not make the movement easier, it distracts our mind a little bit. That's it, team, nice work. We are more than halfway through it already. Big inhale, same thing, big exhale press. Those triceps should be nice and toasty. You got it, we recover already. Long rest, full minute in three, two, and one, nice work. Go ahead and drop those dumbbells, shake those arms out. And give them a nice little stretch. Some little love, you can roll those wrists out. All right team, we are going into our lower body portion of class already. Two movements in lower body to focus on. Our first movement we did in the warm up. grab your dumbbells, or not quite yet. You're gonna grab your dumbbells, hold them to the side. We're going for those staggered squats. So remember, we take that right foot right to the outside and slightly behind that left heel. All right, both knees face forward. It's not a lunge, so that knee doesn't go down. It stays forward. All right, we're gonna go for a staggered squats, alternating sides. Then we go into a sumo squat 401. All right, here we go, team. Shake it out. You got it. You can try it, practice it a little bit. It's a little different than an air squat, than air versus those dumbbells. If the dumbbell does become too much there holding, you can hold it up to the chest as well right here works just as good. All right, team, here we go, grab that dumbbell. We are switching sides. Right foot comes back, three, two, 
one, all the way down. Use that breath, switch feet. Left foot comes to the outside, that's it. Both knees forward, switch. Nice, chest stays proud, that's it, you got it. Take your time, switch the feet. Working on a little bit more of that core stability here. Nice. Pressing those heels into that mat or that floor. That's it, chest stays proud. You got it, if it's too much to hold those dumbbells, you can always drop to one. There you go, both knees forward, use that breath. We hit sumo squats, coming up next. And rest in three, two, and recover. Drop that dumbbell. You can take one dumbbell, hold it in a goblet, so those hands come right under your dumbbell, or you can also hold it to the side. All right, feet are gonna come wide, heels wider than those hips. We lower down slow. Four, three, two, no hold at the bottom, big execution on one. If you're like, I don't know what that means, just follow me, I got you. Here we go. Four, three, two, shh, big exhale press. That's it, knees naturally open, shoulders stay high, shh. Nice, slow and controlled. Big inhale, shh, big exhale. That's it, feel those heels, same thing here. Pressing into the ground. That's it, getting those glutes engaged, shh, those inner thighs, definitely that core. We are more than halfway through this set. Big inhale, slow, shh, big exhale, quick. Down four, three, two, no hold up one. That's it, nice work. All right, team, we recover right here, take that rest. 20 seconds to recover, we go back to the first movement. Alternating those staggered squats. You got this. Here we go, grab those dumbbells, bring that right foot behind that left, roll the shoulders back, remember those knees face forward. We start in three, two, and one. Let's get it lower down. <sighs> nice work. You can take that gaze just a couple inches in front of your nose, take it forward to protect that spine, that neck, that's it. Try not to let those shoulders be tempted to roll forward. I really want you to keep that chest back. Sink those glutes down. Beautiful. So if you're really looking at your form, those knees are still behind your toes right here. So let me show you to the side. You got it. So I'm still sinking down. It's still that squat. Beautiful. Control it. Almost there. How are you feeling? It's burning. You have three. Finish it off right here. Two and one recover you can keep both dumbbells or drop one goblet hold right here feet come nice and wide remember we come down slow and controlled pull that belly button into that spine in five here we go let's set it up down slow up quick three two and let's get it slow four three two shh, big exhale all right, team, so in our foundational workouts, we really wanna also focus on that breath. I know, the movements are important, how to get that form, you're crushing it, but now I really want you to focus on that breath. It's gonna help you. Don't have to hold your breath, use it to your advantage. That's it, slow as you come down, big exhale, press it up. If I'm moving too fast or too slow for you, Take it at your own pace, but remember it is controlled. All right, down slow. Last couple seconds here. Give me one more rep. We recover already in three, two, and rest. Nice work, team. How you doing? Crushing it. We have one more round of these two movements. Roll those shoulders back, shake it out if you need to. Staggered squats, we're champions at them now. All right, that right foot comes back as that clutch. Chest is proud, knees behind those toes. Team, two, and one. Let's get it. Come back to center, bring that left foot back. Remember, we are not rushing through these. The slower, more controlled, the more challenging the movement becomes. So, take your time. Start to focus on that breath. Feel those glutes engage. Feel those quads, the front of your legs. That's it. Take your time. If you only get in a couple reps in each of these, this time frame, that's beautiful. All right, you showed up. If you get one in and just learn how to breathe through a movement, success. You got it. All right, team, switch it back. Here we go, rest in three, two, and recover. We go back to those goblet hold, sumo squats. Feet come nice and wide. If you do have hip issues, you can bring your feet a little bit closer. Try to keep a little bit of that turnout though so we can get into that inner thigh. All right, team, here we go. Set it up in three, two, and the outer part of that booty. You got it, and one, lower down. 
Same thing here. Use that breath. Crushing it. Ooh, can you start to sink a little bit deeper? Okay, I see you. Nice work. That's it. Now don't let this intimidate you if you can't come down that far today. Maybe today has just been a rough week. Totally normal. You can also hold your dumbbell here. Remember, you got it slow. If you can start to sink a little deeper, you feel those hips opening up, take it. Nice. All right, team, we have five seconds left here. Can you finish it out? Give me one more rep. Oof, exhale, drive it up and recover. Nice, long, full minute recovery. How are you feeling? Towel off, grab your water. We're gonna go into two movements of core. Same thing here. We have two movements that we are comboing or supersetting with that rest in between. All right, we have three rounds. This is it. We're already coming up on the end of this workout. All right, team, so our two movements are, we come onto our backs, grab your dumbbell, keep it close. We're gonna plant those feet and go for weighted crunches. There's a couple ways to do this. If you feel comfortable with your dumbbell, you can bring those hands right above that chest line and just reach here as if someone was pulling that dumbbell right above you. You can also cross onto your chest, bring both hands and give me those crunches here. Same thing, it should feel like you're lifting up towards the ceiling. All right, our second movement, it gets a little bit trickier. We're gonna come into a plank position, drop to those knees, shoulders over those wrists, we go for plank pulls. So we're gonna start to keep those hips even and move side to side. All right, my loves, here we go. Come onto your back. If you've got it, bring that dumbbell over that chest line. We reach. If it is too much with the dumbbell, you can drop it down here, or you could drop it and bring those hands behind the head. That's it. Remember, we are driving up. Nice, that's it. Beautiful. Try not to just pull on that neck, but try to lift through the top of the core. Team, we have about 10 seconds left. Big inhale, same thing. Use that breath. Start to press that low back into the mat. There you go. Three, two, and recover. Ooh, shake it out. Coming onto all fours, onto quadruped, however you can get there. Team, remember those shoulders stay stacked over those wrists the whole time. We wanna protect those wrists today. We're taking a modified movement here. So it's still challenging, even though it's modified, all right? We're gonna to come to those knees. Now, instead of just being here, I really want you to shift those hips forward. Bring that dumbbell to one side. Inhale, exhale, reach it over. Try not to let those hips lift, all right? Try to keep that core engaged. Beautiful, remember we are working on that stability here in our foundational workouts. That's it, beautiful. Keep those hips tucked under, shoulders over those wrists. That, yes, that's it. All right, that core should be leaning forward as you're pulling that navel, that belly button into the spine. So good team, we have 10 seconds left, I'm right here with you. Yes, it should be a different movement. It should be very challenging even though it's modified. You got it, we recover in three, two, and rest. Team, slowly, carefully come back onto your back. We have two more of these super sets. You got it, crushing this workout. All right, can you lift that dumbbell over that chest line if you have not yet done that? Let's get it in three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now remember, we are just bringing the top of the shoulders off of the mat. Nice. Can you keep your chin tucked just a little bit as you reach up? You can drop the dumbbell if you need to. You can cross your hands. Remember, we are pressing the low back to the mat as we lift. Beautiful. Team, one more time, I'm gonna remind you, we need to use that breath to help us. Big inhale, big exhale, slow it down. If you need to protect the neck, protect it. You have 10 seconds left here. Let's go, you got it. You could take your gaze right to the top between those knees. Beautiful. Pressing the low back to the mat. We have three, two, and rest. Team, we flip back on over. Carefully get there. Grab your dumbbell. We're gonna pull it from side to side. All right, so set yourself up for success. Here we go. We come on down. If you wanna try it, it is a high plank position. You'll see these later on in our intermediate workout. We'll have those too. So if you do wanna try one, you can bring it into that high plank. Get your stability and pull to the side. Ooh, feel that oblique fire up. That's where we're going eventually if today is not the day. You got it, slow and controlled. If this pulling motion is too much, can you give me a shoulder tap? 
If that is still too much, you can always just hold a forearm plank. All right, I want your core to be engaged during this little core series, no matter what you've chosen to do. All right, we have 10 seconds left. Yes, you're doing the best you can here. I know you are. I feel you. I believe in you. We have three, two, and recover. Team, switch it back. This is already it. We switch it back right here. All right, we come back into those weighted crunches in 10. Set it up. Here we go. What is our intention for this last round of this workout? You got it in three, two, and let's get a team. Arms come up or arms come down. Up to you. Right here. You can protect the neck if you need to. Keep that gaze right between those knees or slightly in front of you. That's it. Whew. Good job. We're already halfway through this. Keep that dumbbell up. We don't want to reach forward yet. I want you to keep it right here. We're working on just driving that lower part of those abs into the mat, firing it up. All right, team, so good. We have 10 seconds left. Let's finish it off together. Lift that bar or those arms and that dumbbell or a bar if you have it, or maybe a bottle if you're using that. You got it, three, two, and one. Team, let's switch it back. Coming onto quadruped, onto all fours. Roll those wrists out, shake those shoulders out. You got this. Last 40 seconds of this workout. Here we go. Coming into that high plank position or that low plank. Modify it if you need to. Three, two, and one. That core should be shaky because you're starting to reach under a little bit. If you see those hips, if you feel them moving up and down, can you readjust them? That's it. If you're near a mirror by any chance, just take a quick peek at it. That's it and see how it looks. All right, you should be able to kind of feel if you're moving up and down, right? Keeping that core tucked. Beautiful, micro bend in those elbows. We only have about 15 seconds left here. Can you stay in it? That's it. If you need to drop those dumbbells, those poles, you can come to that forearm plank and just hold. Beautiful work. All right, if you wanna try for the last five seconds to get in one in that high plank, try it with me right here. Here we go, three, come on, two, and one. Team, nice work today. Please make sure that you do stretch. Take some time to just thank your body for all the movement that you gave it today. Hope that you had an incredible time. Please also make sure if you're enjoying this series to check out Eunice's beginner workout as well. And then come back for our intermediate and advanced. Hope you have a wonderful day, Sunny fam.